Welcome back. Um, this is a special request for somebody that's working on some extra homework and wants to see how to do a certain problem. So uh, again, I I always I always will cater to anyone that you know has a question. So hopefully this will definitely help out. And so we're gonna go right to the iPad and we're gonna look at some problems from the Check Two Seven and Two Eight worksheet. Um, so if you happen to be working on that, this is maybe a little bit of help for you. So uh, let's jump right to the iPad and kind of see to the iPad and kind of see what it is. So um, what you're looking at here is you're looking at my iPad and obviously um, I host Zoom meetings every Wednesday so if you guys want to tune in but um, anyway um, we're going to be looking at a certain concept from worksheet 2728 it's a check that we did and so the idea is that one of the problems that we had was something based on something like this now this is a 7 just so you know so I know my handwriting is poor but you get the idea. All right, so the idea on this um, particular um, part of the worksheet was you had to solve for a certain letter. Like, for instance, they might say solve for, solve for Y. And so that means you want to get Y by itself. So the order of operations that we have that, that helps us rearrange equations, this is an equation, it has an equal sign, this is the original problem. You want to add and subtract things across first. So you want to move, basically what I always think of, is you want to move everything that doesn't have a Y to the right side and leave the Ys on the left side. Okay, so if I move everything over, I'm going to move this 2X over, I'm going to move this negative 7 over. When you move them across, you're going to either add or subtract them. You're going to do the opposite operation, that's called an inverse operation, to the other side. So the 5Y is going to stay where it's at but everything else is going to the right side. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, subtracting the 2x over. I'm going to subtract that 2x over. It doesn't have a y on it. And we're going to add the 7 across. That is the opposite of subtracting the 7. So again, we do the opposite to the other side. So we subtract the 2x instead of adding it. And we're going to add the 7 instead of subtracting it. And then the last step is after you add and subtract everything over, you want to divide by the last thing that has a y on it. So, on my case, I have a 5 attached to the y. You want to divide that over. So, 2a minus 2x plus 7. And I'm going to divide everything by 5. And this is what I'm looking for. This is what y is equal to. We solve for y. Again, order of operations, the inverse operation. You want to add and subtract first, anything across. Then you want to multiply or divide, whatever it is, up to the opposite, to the opposite side. And then, you know, if you have any exponents or parentheses, which we never have, but if you do have those, you do those last. But there you go. That's the start of 2728. Now, let's uh, let's move on to the next part. Uh, the next part that we had, let me erase these here. All right. So, again, you can always pause or rewind these videos if you need to. The second part of that assignment was from 28. It was, it was based on, um, you know, um, discounts and percents. So like a percent of change. So let's say you had an item that was $12, okay? And you're gonna get taxed on it, tax of 5%. So what you do is you take $12 times that tax rate. Now, tax is in percents, so you have to change it to a decimal. You always have to move the decimal over two spots. Currently, the decimal is behind the five. You move it over two spots when it's a percent to make it a decimal, because decimals are numbers that we use. So I moved it over two spots, no matter what the number is. If it's a percent, you always move it over two spots. So if it's 12%, move it over two spots. Uh, so in my case, it's 0 0.05, and we're gonna multiply that on. Now, I'm gonna go right to my calculator here, just so you can see this. Um, so if I jump to my, I'm gonna take $12, and I'm gonna take it times 0 0.05 and hit enter. And what this is giving me, it's giving me 0 0.6. Now, again, I'll do it one more time just so you can see that. So $12, I'm going to hit the times button, 0 0.05, that's 5% tax, and gives me 60 cents. So this number right here is the tax. It is 60 cents for tax. Now, so taxes are added back in so really the price you're going to pay at the, the cash register is you take the original twelve dollar item that you had and you add your taxes back in because you have to pay taxes on items unless it's you know in iowa it's um, produce we wouldn't pay taxes on in minnesota you don't pay taxes on clothing apparel um, so there's different states have different rules but my total that i'm going to pay for this item is twelve dollars and sixty cents now if this was a discount 
uh, instead of you know 5% tax, maybe it was a discount of 5%. Maybe you're getting a sale today. Um, then what you do is instead of adding this number, you know, the 60 cents back in, you would subtract it. And so that would be the only difference between a discount and a tax. Hopefully this helped you out. Uh, again, if you have any other questions, don't be afraid to ask. I'm hoping that these these types of things, if, uh, if you like it, I'll, I'll stick with this, uh, this format. And hopefully this is something that, something that works for you personally. So, uh, again, thanks for tuning in. Stay safe. Take care of each other. And I'll see you real soon.